Thompson, I strongly support Mr. Thompson's amendment allowing states to opt out. Um, the Republican health care system created under this bill forces middle class families to pay more for less, eliminates financial assistance for working families who are struggling to afford the cost of care, raises the cost of prescription drugs, and rips health insurance away for tens of millions of Americans. States should not be forced into this dangerous system if their families are better off under the current law. And in Washington State, they are. In Washington State, 750,000 individuals have gained health coverage. The uninsured rate has dropped by nearly 60% since 2013. 50,000 young people have been able to stay on their parents' plans until the age of 26. Over 3 million people have gained free coverage for preventative services like annual checkups, immunizations, and cancer screenings. Nearly 3 million individuals with pre-existing conditions can no longer be denied health coverage, and more than 115,000 people have received an average of $330 each month in premium tax credits to help them afford insurance. Washington State is a prime example of how democratic reforms are working for middle class families. And Mr. Chairman, I would like to submit for the record a statement from our governor, Governor Inslee, um, where he states that this proposal would kick 600,000 Washingtonians off Medicaid unless the state can come up with $1.3 billion, a burden that would be borne entirely by the state's taxpayers. Without objection. Thank you. Um, in our state, we also have a robust competition among insurance companies and our state's exchange. We've seen a stabilization of premiums and we've slowed long-term growth of healthcare costs. All that progress is on the line under this wrong-headed experiment. So if my colleagues are truly concerned about states' rights and state flexibility, they should support this amendment to protect states like Washington that have thrived under reforms that are helping millions of working families, seniors, and their children. So I urged my colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back to Mr. Thompson.